Hello, my name is Gary, and I am the Marine Growth Prevention System Technical Manager, and I'm going to be introducing you today to the nano systems that we do. Our systems consist of anode, control panel, and most importantly, the installation manual. The installation manual contains drawings of all the components sent, all the information you need to install your system, plus log sheets and setting pages. This is the MGPS Omni Anode. It's been specifically designed to be either mounted through the strainer lid or mounted submerged on a bracket if required. The Omni Anode consists of copper body, stainless steel cathode, plastic fixings, submersible type cable and colour coded connections. Ensure that all stickers are removed from the anode body and residue is cleaned off. Do not remove the insulation sleeve and unscrew the plastic connections. To fit the anode, you must ensure that the underside of the strainer lid has been flattened so the anode will seal correctly. Thread the cable through the hole and secure with the plastic connections, ensuring that the anode is sealed correctly on the underside of the strainer lid. Then fit the strainer lid back onto the housing, ensuring that the anode body or the cathode is not in contact with the housing or the basket. Always ensure that junction boxes are fitted between the anode and the control panel. Ensure that the wiring of the system is in accordance with the installation manual. Next, we need to fit the control panel into the engine room. The control panel consists of the following the main unit, the key which is individual to the cabinet, spare fuses which can be found inside the control panel. Ensure that the input voltage to the control panel is in accordance with the installation manual provided. Fit glands where needed onto the control panel. Once the control panel has been wired up in accordance with the installation manual and the strainers are flooded, the system can be turned on. Once the control panel is on, check the installation manual for the settings and adjust the control panel accordingly. If the system is fully adjustable and has been set in accordance with the installation manual, then the system is fully operational. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.